नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लिजन टू दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी केयरफुली सर बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अ स्मॉल सिनारियो नाउ एवरी वन लिजन केयरफुली मे बी दिस सिनारियो विल हेल्प यू टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन लिटिल ईजीली नाउ सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल अज्यूम दट ऐ एम ए शॉप कीपर ऐ एम ए शॉप कीपर राइट अज्यूम दट ऐ एम ए शॉप कीपर सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऐ एम हैविंग ए स्टेशनरी शॉप ऐ एम सेलिंग सम पेन्स एंड स्टेशनरी ऐटम्स इन मै शॉप नौ यू विल कम टू मै शॉप यू आस्कड मी ए क्वेश्चन युवर क्वेश्चन ईज हौ मच विल वन पेन कॉस्ट रईट युवर क्वेश्चन ईज हौ मच विल वन पेन कॉस्ट I answered you that. I answered you that one pen will cost five rupees. Your question is how much will one pen cost? My answer for your question is one pen will cost five rupees. Now, what is that? Your question is your question is how much will one pen cost? That means you are asking me the cost of one pen. What is the answer which I am giving you? I am telling you that the cost of one pen is five rupees. That means whenever you ask me that how much will one pen cost, that does not necessarily mean that you are purchasing only one pen. How much will one pen cost does not necessarily mean that you are purchasing one pen. You have a plan of purchasing seven pens. you asked me one pen cost so that you can only calculate seven pens cost on your by yourself similarly i told you that one pen will cost 5 rupees the meaning of the statement is one pen cost 5 rupees does not necessarily again mean that you are only paying 5 rupees at the end of transaction it can be any number of pens you are purchasing and it can be the total amount anything that you are paying depending on the number of pens that means simple statement that you need to remember is how much will one pen cost means that does not necessarily mean that you are purchasing only one pen right that does not necessarily mean that you are purchasing only one pen now everyone listen to this question carefully sir again a very very beautiful classical question which can be solved so beautifully without using any formula read the question your question is a man buys oranges at the rate of 6 for 2 rupees buying is nothing but cost price a uh, cost price of how many oranges he is purchasing six oranges what is the price for six oranges it is given as 2 rupees cost price of six oranges is 2 rupees now think logically once again what is the meaning of cost price of six oranges is 2 rupees that mean that you came to my shop you came to my shop you asked me the price of six pen six oranges you asked me the price of six oranges and i told you that the price of six oranges is 2 rupees that does not necessarily again mean that you are only purchasing six oranges also it does not necessarily mean that you are only paying 2 rupees for me at the end of the transaction you might purchase any number of oranges you are just asking me that six oranges will cost how much that is your question that is the meaning of cost price of six oranges is 2 rupees read the next statement and sell the whole lot at the rate of 7 for 3 rupees that means the selling price of seven oranges is how much it is 3 rupees next statement is in this process he gained 20 rupees total profit that i am getting in this process is 20 rupees your question is how many oranges did he purchase now see here i already told you that i already told you that whenever you get something like this express it as sp by cp second equation is 7 sp 7 sp is equal to 3 this is the second equation first equation is 6 cp is equal to 2 Divide one by the other, you will get SP by CP. If I simplify further, two into one, two into three. This is three into three, nine. So SP by CP will be equal to nine divided by seven. The meaning of that is cost price is seven rupees. Cost price is seven rupees. Selling price is nine rupees. 
cost price is 7, selling price is 9. The product is costing me 7 rupees. I sold it for you at 9 rupees. That means the profit is how many rupees? Profit is 2 rupees. But question says profit is 20 rupees. 2 is becoming 20. Multiply by 10. 7 also multiply by 10. 7 into 10 is how much? 70 rupees. The meaning of 7 into 10 is 70. Is. What is the meaning of cost price is 70 rupees? Cost price is 70 rupees means totally I paid 70 rupees for you. Or you paid 70 rupees for me, whatever it is. Right? Totally you paid 70 rupees. It is given in the statement that cost price of 6 oranges is 2 rupees. That means for 6 oranges, for 6 oranges, it is costing 2 rupees cost price. But the total amount you paid is not 2 rupees for me. Totally you paid 70 rupees for me. 2 is becoming 70. Multiply by 35. 6 also multiply by 35. 6 into 35 is total number of oranges that you purchased is 6 into 35, 210. Logical way of problem solving wherein I will not even use any variables or equations and I will make it so simple as much as possible. I believe that the idea is very very clear for you people. I hope that the idea is very very clear for you people. Suppose I am asking you a question. Suppose my question is one pen will cost one pen will cost 5 rupees. 7 erasers will cost how many rupees? Can you answer this question? Definitely you cannot answer this question. Why? Because I am giving you information about a pen and I am asking you eraser information. Definitely you cannot answer. Same is the case here. When the coefficients are different, there is another option which will definitely be given as cannot be determined. Lochana, explain part 2. Part 2 is nothing but I believe you are asking this part Lochana. This last part I believe that you are asking. Now see here Lochana, what is that I taught you in this last part is cost price of 6 articles is 2 rupees. That means 6 oranges, you purchased 6 oranges Lochana. You paid me 2 rupees. But the question we found out that you actually did not pay me only 2 rupees at the end. You actually paid me 70 rupees. 2 into which number is 70? 35. 6 into 35 is 210. 